Hello and welcome back to another Razor Training video for the VB.NET training course. This is video 4 in the series and in this video we are going to learn math operators inside of Visual Basic. We're going to learn how to add, multiply, divide, and subtract numbers within Visual Basic. So let's start off by opening Visual Studio 2008. Let's uh, start a new project. Go to File new and project just as we did in the other video for project type hit visual basic uh, for visual studio installed templates go ahead and hit windows form application and in the name pr uh, property change it to let's see here um, let's, uh, arithmetic I have no clue if that's how you spell it, but we'll just keep it like that. Okay, and then make sure it's where you want to save it at, and make sure the solution name's there, and go ahead and click OK. Let's start off by making this form a little bit smaller. Remember the resizing handles in the form once you drag up and make it smaller. And uh, let's go ahead and change the title of the form from Form 1 to over th uh, Math Operators. Go ahead and change the text field of the form from form 1 to math operators make sure you spell it right well it doesn't really matter but yeah okay and then go ahead and change the start position from windows default location to center screen and then control s to save and uh, go ahead and hit save all up here on the taskbar thingamajig and it'll save all your stuff and okay and then next we are going to put a button down onto the form one button and then we're going to place two numeric up down controls onto the form and we're going to put one text box on the form so after doing all that your uh, form should look about same as mine or very similar to mine your controls probably won't look the same as mine because I resize them unless you want to resize them like mine. But it should have the two numeric up downs, a text box, and one button. Okay, let's go ahead and change the property of the button real quick. Uh, go into the text property of the button and change it from button one to compute. And go ahead and hit enter and compute is right there. Okay, let's go into the very first numeric up down and go to the properties panel and go up to where it says name and change it from numeric up down one to NUD one. This is just the name that references it to the code. Okay, and go to the next numeric up down, number two, and change it to NUD two. And then let's get to the text box. And instead of text box one, let's change it to TXT total and go ahead and hit enter. So overall you should have the compute button which has the default name of button 1, the NUD1 which has the name of NUD1, the NUD2 which has the name of NUD2, and the text box which has the name of TXT total. Okay, if you have all that then you're ready to progress. If not, pause this video and go back and see if you miss anything. Okay, now let's make this uh, text box a read-only. Read-only means you can't type inside of this text box or whatever. It's just going to show something inside of it. Okay, go ahead and double-click the Compute button to go inside of the code. And now do exactly as I do. Type in NUD, or no, reach that. TXT total equals space nud one dot value space plus space nud two dot value and go ahead and click off of it. Uh oh there's a blue line. Let's see here. Let's see if there's any error with this. Oh yep, forgot to put dot text. 
Let's see here. Am I done? Yep, I'm done. Remember, if you get that blue line, it means something's wrong with your code. And I did that purposely, just so you know that everyone screws up and doesn't make you ashamed that you screwed up or anything. I mean, everyone does it. I even screw up on simple programs like I just did. <laughs> Alright, now, go ahead and hit Control S. Okay, what this is going to do is, it's going to show up in the text box. The text property is going to read out what the value of NUD1 is and the value of NUD2, the numeric up down 2. So it's going to add these two together. Okay, go ahead and uh, run your program. Okay, so let's put 2 in for NUD1 and we'll put uh, 1 in for NUD2 and hit compute and voila 3. And Let's try some more. 9 and 5 and 14. Alright, our program's working. And now what you can do is you can just go into code and let's uh, change the plus sign to a asterisk. And that means multiplication. So it's going to uh, multiply NUD1 and NUD2 together. Okay, if you debug that, uh, let's see, it's 2 times 3 should equal 6. And what we'll lost 6. And divide is the slash that's on your number pad, or uh, yeah, number pad. Go ahead and hit that. So you see, let's do uh, six divided by three should equal two. And voila, there it is. Okay, and let's change that slash to a minus. And now it's going to subtract. And let's do four minus two, and there you go, two. 7 minus 2 equals 5, and there you go. Congratulations, you have just learned how to do math operators inside of Visual Basic. Okay, that's all for this video, and thanks for watching. If you like this video and the series, go ahead and subscribe, and uh, uh, have, a, have a good day, buddy. <laughs>